Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for clicking on again a Heidi Ho. It is the 18th day of March, and uh, we've got some concerning things to talk about. We begin here with uh, my old buddy Mike Pence. For those that do not know, I ran for Congress against Mike in 2006, 2008, and 2010. And uh, I was an independent running on the Democratic ticket against Mike. And uh, we had a couple of fierce battles there. And then, uh, well, that's a totally different story for a totally different episode. Here's what, uh, here's what my old buddy has to say today, yesterday, actually, on Face the Nation. He says uh, that he has profound differences with Trump. Many think it's just over January 6th. Also has to do with the fact that he is walking away from fiscal responsibility and a commitment to America's leadership in the world and that he, quote, cannot endorse Donald Trump, end quote. Now, for the Trump people, that's not, you know, that's not going to be a big deal. Um, they were ready to uh, hang Mike Pence, as we will show coming up here in just a few minutes as well, oddly enough. Uh, video just surfaced today. But uh, Pence went on to say that Trump's uh, calling the people in prison for their actions on January 6th. Again, not everybody that was there uh, was there to violently overthrow the government. So, you know, you can't get monolithic thinking there. But uh, Trump refers to them as the hostages. And uh, Pence said anybody that did that, well, it was in, anybody that is in the United States judi judicial system should never be called a hostage. And that was unacceptable, especially with uh, Americans being held hostage in Gaza. So just to get Mike, just to be 100% spot on, correct with what Mike had to say. Here's what Vladimir Putin, the newly reelected president of Russia, reelected with a vote total of 87%. So either it's an incredibly oppressed area, as we saw some... Uh, troops with guns in the voting booths, or it is a very, uh, he's a very, very popular person in Russia. Both can be true at the same time. He is very popular to a, a select number of people in Russia, but there are those that uh, wish him not to be in power. And one of those was Navalny and, um, and, and Navalny, um, Mr. Seriously, well, died in prison. Uh, Putin says officials um, were ready to release. He was ready to release Navalny in a prison swap uh, a few days before he died. And he said, uh, Putin's quote is, I immediately said, I agree. Unfortunately, what happened, happened. The condition was that he never comes back. It happens. What can you do? That's life. Um that was Putin's response. And this is the first time in 11 years that he's actually said the guy's name. So uh, just a reminder that drones are going to be um, of significance in 2024 in many conflicts. And that uh, there was a mysterious drone swarm over Langley. And it's been happening for weeks. Unidentified drones were such an issue that assets were called in from around the government, including a NASA WB-57 high altitude jet. Uh, and the U Ukraine reporter adds this cheap, not yet ma mass produced drones crippling one of the largest navies in the world. He's referring to Ukraine uh, and Russia mauling one of the largest armies in the world. Once again, Ukraine using the drones effectively in their campaign against Russia and hit, hitting strategic targets deep inside the country and a nuclear power in the world is a preview of what happened, what will happen to a complacent West warning that uh, indeed, uh, I don't think we totally understand over here the, the potential danger and damage that drones will inflict if there are, is ever a conflict here. Um, North Korea fires ballistic missile towards the Sea of Japan. That was yesterday. We have since found out they actually fired three 
missiles towards the Sea of Japan, and uh, the uh, Prime Minister of Japan has issued a uh, strong rebuttal to North Korea. Uh, in the form of a written state tomorrow night early, or we're going to do in Haiti. Um, we're going to feature the, this, this interview. This is Pamela White. She was the U.S. ambassador to Haiti from 2012 to 2015. And another ambassador that has a different viewpoint uh, of what Ambassador White has, uh, but we'll we'll listen to that interview with Chris. The word is from the ground is that um, Cherize and the uh, guerrilla forces have made their way into the um, the area that is that is residents of the oligarchs and the more uh, wealthy, those that um, those that the Haitian population population see as the oppressors. Um, so, as I said, things may escalate, and we may be talking tomorrow night with Chris instead of Wednesday, as we see how that unfolds and how that plays out. Also, hours ago, a significant operation by the Israeli Defense Forces was underway around Al-Shifa Hospital. That's in the northern part of Gaza, in Gaza City, uh, following reports that several senior Hamas leaders had arrived at the medical complex and airstrikes targeted the top floor of the hospital uh, while special forces were engaged in uh, solemn fire exchanges uh, in and around the complex, um, spread of gunfire and explosions being heard. So things are not done there, and um, it's it's become pretty clear that Netanyahu is going to do what Netanyahu is going to do as long as he's in power. There are uh, demonstrations going on within Israel to try to get him to step down. There is pressure from the United States to try to get him to uh, agree to a ceasefire. Um, and Hamas had agreed, according to Hamas, but... Israel backed out at the last second. Israel said Hamas uh, backed out at the last second. So at any rate, there was supposed to be a ceasefire last week, and uh, that did not ever happen. Um, the last time Chris was on with us, we talked about things coming up. We talked about the tournaments, about being spring break, about... Uh, you know, just gatherings as spring is coming. Well, where you're at, not to not to be paranoid, but not to panic. And uh, the way you do that's with information. So, a couple of spots in Florida, Jacksonville Beach, Florida, uh, law enforcement, other emergency agencies responding to an active shooter at Jacksonville Beach. That that was uh, yesterday, and again. Uh, multiple injured because of that shooting. And um, we got another one coming up in Florida in just a second here. But uh, I've got to point out, again, these are things, the world, there are a lot of things going on in the world. Um, North Korea launching missiles at, at Japan. Um, and all of them fall, falling harmlessly into the sea of Japan. But nonetheless, that that is a statement. This is... Uh, this is Afghanistan and Pakistan, and uh, Pakistani fighter jets were striking targets inside inside Afghanistan. Um, uh, this is obviously a pro-Pakistani site, showing the Taliban which country actually has access to serious weaponry. So, uh, a lot of areas where things are kicking off, and uh, as yes, it was St. Patty's Day yesterday. And this is a political, this is a, a photo for political analysis. There are those that saying if, uh, you know, if Robert F. Kennedy runs, that's just going to take votes away from, 
from Biden. Um, that is the narrative. It's not a true narrative as we see right here. What you see here are all of the Kennedys. Um, this is the Kennedy family with the exception of, of Robert Kennedy Jr. Here's Joe Biden. And, uh, uh, I think Patrick's right back there. Um, anyway, this is, um, the Kennedy family spent St. Patrick's Day at the White House as a display of unity and support for Biden and in opposition of their cousin, um, RFK Jr. So, of course, we'll be awaiting the news here coming up soon of who uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s running mate will be and whether it will be Aaron Rodgers. We thought Aaron Rodgers might end up hosting Jeopardy. He got beat out for that. Will he get beat out for the uh, VP selection? We shall see. What we have here is um, former president, uh, former president Obama, and this is number ten Downing Street, and and this was earlier this afternoon. Uh, this was not scheduled, um, uh, as far as his official scheduling. I mean, he didn't just you know walk up there and say you know sup um can i have some tea you know they knew he was coming this, this is an arranged uh and unannounced official visit um that was eight hours ago he leaves um as he lives he leaves with this, the lady in the yellow here. She is the United Kingdom's ambassador to, they've moved it back over here. So, okay. And uh, they tried to get him to answer some questions like Plus, a lot of, a lot of rumor and uh, conspiracy going on around what's happening in Great Britain, whether the, uh, the king is dead, uh, whether Kate Middleton um, has died, uh, William's, William's wife. And, um, you know, we got enough stuff going on here. But um, I'm sorry, I said it the other way. This is the United States ambassador to the UK. I think I said the UK's ambassador to the United States. And, and I apologize. Um, but nonetheless, we'll keep an eye on what that's all about. That's just, you know, that just doesn't happen. It's just not, you know, it's just not accidentally that he's there. Earlier today, uh, this occurred in Daytona Beach, Florida, one of my, my favorite places in the world to go at one time. Oh, motherfucker! Drop the fucking gun! Hey! Drop the fucking gun! Drop the fucking gun! Drop the fucking gun, motherfucker! Now, see if this cop just starts opening fire. I mean, there are a bunch of innocent people on the beach that are, you know, could potentially get hit. So, uh, um, kudos to the cop for not just, you know, boom, 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 boom. Um, and let's continue here. I'm going to, I, I've muted it because there's a whole lot of, of other words. Here we go. And we'll soon see the, uh, we'll soon see. Spring break, break spots from back in the, the day. See the lifeguard hop down there and get out of the way and get out. And, and it's it's a long way over to uh, to Africa. Uh, uh, which is the direct shot across from from where the guy's running into the water, water or drop the gun in the water. And, uh, uh, 
eventually comes out. But no matter where you're at, uh, we're it's 2024 and we live in an unhinged world with, um, with people that don't have a lot of respect or, or regard, uh, at times it seems for their own lives or the lives of others. And we also live in a world where I'm not sure what's up with dudes, but I'm hearing more and more stuff like this, like, um, you know, the guy gets up. Oh yeah. Okay. And shuts the door to make sure he's not interrupted on his video game. I don't get this, but um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, Korea long out of uh, Japan's exclusion zone and uh, Prime Minister sent a harshly worded letter to the uh, North Koreans. Um LAPD has created a task force. The task force is to combat organized foreign gangs burglarizing homes. Uh, Chris and I talked about this uh, weeks ago and um, how, you know, it was inevitable that this was going to happen. Uh, the organized gangs coming from Peru, from Colombia, from Ecuador, from Chile, uh, no over 900 homes in LA were burglarized since January of 2024. Similar patterns are emerging in, in Arizona. So uh, uh, again, just you know, aware of, and uh, Boeing continues to have problems. Two hours ago, Alaskan Airlines confirmed that one of their Boeing while landing at the Portland International Airport Sunday evening, that's from KATU out of uh, Oregon. Uh, the Supreme Court indefinitely blocked Texas from enforcing the immigration law. This came in three hours ago and it's not going to make Texas happy. Um, also, the Supreme Court denied Peter Navarro's request for um, a immediate stay that he, he not be required to report to a minimum security federal prison tomorrow that Supreme Court denied that Peter Navarro will support will report to a federal prison in Miami tomorrow by 2 p.m. And for those that don't know, uh, Anarchy Princess, AP, not Associated Press. Um, usually it's the other way around. It's AP, and uh, Associated Press, not Anarchy Princess. This time, Anarchy Princess a, took specific, um, made made specific target, and, uh, and very effectively so, made a specific target of Peter Navarro. So, a lot of the imagery you'll see of Peter Navarro, you'll see uh, AP in the background. So you know, shout out to the former guest on the show. Um, Eric Adams, the mayor of New York, has been sued for sexual assault. This come in seven hours ago. Um, Plaintiff Mathura. Uh, her attorneys, the action is brought under the Adult Survivors Act, result of sexual assault perpetrated by current mayor of the New York City of New York, Eric Adams. Uh, defendant Adams claimed he would assist the plaintiff with an employment issue, only instead to drive her to a vacant lot and request oral sex from her. When she refused, defendant Adams forcibly pushed the plaintiff's hand onto his erect penis and then after she removed her hand, masturbated himself to completion and ejaculated on her allegedly. Uh, again, this is the sitting mayor of New York City. And uh, this came out earlier this afternoon. Uh, this, 
here is the here's the headline democrat january 6th panel withheld crucial evidence of course that is not a true statement uh liz cheney sat in an interview with secret service um trump supporter says she should go to jail along with the rest of the unselect committee now this is the trump supporter this is not trump uh that's coming up um Liz says, hi, Donald, you know, these are lies, et cetera. I say, et cetera, because we're going to be reading this again. Uh, no, we're not. Okay. I don't have the rest of it. Anyway, Trump actually, actually did respond after she responded to, she thought this was, was Trump. Um, or maybe it was Trump from his truth and not from Twitter, but um, you're going to, you're trying to halt your one six, your January six trial because you, your VP, that's Pence, your former White House counsel, your White House aides, people from your campaign, and people from your own Department of Justice will te testify against you. You're afraid of the truth, and you should be. So, um, again, Pence coming out, Liz Cheney coming out. Uh, Liz Cheney has been on this on this topic, but. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of the established Republicans are making it known that they're going to sacrifice the Republican Party um, to rid it to rid itself of Donald Trump. The only way they can do it is to let him eat the whole thing as it used to be, and then uh, try to reframe it after he's removed from the process. This is political analysis of what Republicans are trying to do. And I'll go a step further by reminding you how many Republican congressmen are resigning. Ken Buck from Colorado resigned last week, said on Monday of last week, hey, Friday, I'm out of here. I can't do this anymore. I can't have a liar be the, um, and this is his words, I can't have a liar be the candidate of my party, and I can't have my party be represented by nothing but liars. And... Um, what could be happening is that the Republicans, enough Republicans will resign and it takes a special election to fill the seats. So the seats will be, the seats will be vacant for a pretty significant amount of time. And while these seats are vacant, uh, the Republican majority in the house of representatives continues to go down, 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 down. Don't be surprised if some point we learn in the future that uh, the Republicans did this on purpose. It was orchestrated and it was all orchestrated to make sure that uh, Trump does not come back into power because they're out of money. OK, Trump doesn't have enough money. Um, he said it in court in a court document today that there's no way he can do, you know, nobody will secure the bond for this 400 and uh, uh, almost $450 million, almost a half a billion dollar case um, in New York. He's already secured a bond for 93 to uh, try to clear his name from E. Jean Carroll and he doesn't have any money. So he's broke. The Republican Party is broke as far as the Republican National Committee. The traditional sources of old money are not on board with Trump. Things are getting desperate for Trump. The pressure's on Trump. The more pressure that's on, the more dangerous things become. The more apt he will do a dog whistle like he did in the campaign against biden back in 2020 when he told the proud boys to stand up or to stand back but stay ready the same kind of dog whistles have come out six different times on his in his campaign speeches the latest was of course being the bloodbath there will be a bloodbath if um if he's not elected and words like that are dog whistles. Words like that are indicators. And uh, don't be surprised if, if you're not, if you don't hear more and more references to 
um, to violence from Trump because I'm telling you from a strictly political analysis here, they do not have enough money. They do not have enough votes to win an election. Therefore, there cannot be an election. I hope you can connect those dots. I mentioned that uh, they wanted to hang Mike Pence. What you're seeing here just came out today uh, from CBS News. It came out an hour ago. This is Scott McFarlane, one of the CBS reporters. Uh, um, group Connect News. They, well, they're carrying it in. So um, in plain sight in the pre-dawn hours of January 6th, just another reminder that while there were those there that that were clueless to what was planned, there were plans enacted. It wasn't spontaneous. And I think that might be Roger Stone right here. But that's a legend because I do, do not know that. But they are they're bringing in uh, in two separate loads. And right there's the capital. It was directed about right in, right in this area here. Trump got some more bad news today. This is from Judge Cannon, and this is in the uh, espionage case, the uh, documents case, whatever you want to um, refer to it as. This is the Florida case. There are four different cases, as we all know, against Trump as far as felonies. Um, Judge Cannon orders Trump and special counsel, that's Jack Smith, to submit proposed jury instructions and verdict forms regarding the essential else of the Espionage Act, and they have to be in by April 3rd of 2024. So, she is trying to, it appears, she is suddenly trying to move her trial along as well. And um, again, don't be surprised if the Republican Party doesn't, um, doesn't sabotage all this. In simple terms, do not be surprised if the Republican Party does not give Trump enough rope to hang himself. This is uh, uh, this came in just a few minutes before we, I, I hopped on here to, uh, from uh, Visgrad. It's actually 14 hours old. It just popped on my timeline right before I came on. Four representatives of the Cuban, Cuban Communist Party in the town of El Cobre have been forced to flee up to the roof of the party headquarters after protesters gathered around the building and started chanting, quote, no one elected them, in quote. Cuba is ready for uh, a revolution. And, and uh, as we saw, a, an attempted democratic revolution start in the the Arab Spring at one time, um, it you know it, it was and uh, oppressed anymore. You know maybe it's it's time to uh, to get rid of the mindset of being enslaved. So uh, um, thank you all very much for watching. I greatly appreciate. It. I'm going to try something here, but so the easiest way is through Cash App. This is a premiere, so you can drop a, uh, I don't even remember, Super Chat. I didn't even remember what it was called because I don't talk about it much. But um, it's a premiere, so you can drop a Super Chat if you'd like to help to support the show, if you'd like to uh, do it through Cash Cash app, it's dollar sign American doofus on UFUS. 
uh, the same thing for uh, e email, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-N-D-U-F-U-S at gmail.com. All right. So what I'm going to try to do here, uh, I do have, I've got a, uh, let me see, how can I do this? I'm going to try to do this. I don't know if it'll work or not. Um, I've got a song coming out of midnight tonight that I wrote the lyrics on and, and had a little bit to do with. Um, and I'm going to see, I'm going to try to play 30 seconds of it. Um, I honestly don't know if this is going to work or not, but, uh, the song is called sex on the phone. And uh, I'm going to try to give you 30 seconds of it. If you don't hear the, uh, if you don't hear the audio, I do apologize in advance. It's going to be on sale tonight at midnight it, at Apple, uh, at Apple Play, at Spotify, at iTunes, at Amazon. Um, supposed to be released and uh, to iHeartRadio. I don't know if it'll play or not. Who knows? Hopefully it's a hit, but. Here's the uh, 30 seconds, hopefully, of sex on the phone. All right. Hopefully that came through. If not, I do apologize. And I thank you for clicking on. And uh, again, um, nothing but peace, nothing but love. Love you all like chocolate chip cookies. You know, that is a fact. And uh, we will be on again very soon. I thank you for watching. And it's a dark world. Do try to be a light. We'll see you next time.